Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be styling Monster High characters because Nickelodeon did us dirty throughout the entire storyline. I've never been so disappointed. Nickelodeon is literally four kids. Well, no, that's some four kids or something else. How could they mess this up? They had like one job. Does not make sense to me. Storyline. Characters. They ruined Cleo and Deuce, and I went back and rewatched Boo York, the camera fights action, the freaky fusion, and the ghost one, which I can't remember what it's called, but they all look so pretty in that one. It's my favorite one. But in this video, I'm gonna style them, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. So first up we have Claudine. This was hard for me, but I just put a fluffy jacket on with a black dress. I still thought it was very cute, so she's also one of my favorites in the entire franchise, so yeah. Next up we have the main character, Frankie Stein. I loved this outfit. I thought it was very like schoolgirl, preppy kind of. Next up is Draculaura daughter of dracula for some reason this was really hard for me to do i had like five different outfits and none of them really suited her character i don't even know how to describe it but yeah in the end i chose this next up we have cleo denial for her i had to do two different outfits because she just has so many possibilities i think the pattern of this dress just really suited something that she would wear and i really like this dress Next up we have this corset top with like low waisted jeans and I also could see her wearing these because she does wear kind of flared pants in the actual show and it is a vibe. Next up we have Laguna Blue. She was like iffy for me in the show but I liked her accent and I really like this outfit like it's one of my favorites. It's just the dress and the boots. It's just so cute and it's so summery as well. I hope you guys like the outfits. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe and comment down below what you think of the outfits. I was also thinking of doing a little Love Island review because this season was so jam-packed full of stuff. I loved it. Also, let me know what you think about the Monster High characters and the new Monster High that's coming out. I personally, like my favorite obviously is Cleo with Laguna mixed feelings towards. Jackie Laura, I loved sometimes depending on the time obviously frankie was like the main character so she was just kind of there for me like she wasn't a favorite or a least favorite she was just she was just there claudine loved her i hate that they whitewashed her i'm not going to lie to you also the scenes i have seen of like the acting and like the writing so fucking weird like it looks like they're almost trying too hard because nobody fucking talks like that I have to be honest, don't see this going anywhere good. Also, it was just my birthday. I am now 17. I'm like the youngest of my friends, so, you know, she's growing up now. So one more year till 18, countdown. I thought I would show you a few of the books I got with some of my birthday money, so. First, I love journaling. So I got this bullet journal from Tiger. I got this book called Malibu Rising because I read The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and I thought it was really good and so far this book is really good if you liked um, movies and shows that are like The Summer I Turned Pretty, this is your go-to. I got this book called Book Lovers and I have to be honest, the reason I got it was because it looked so pretty. I love colourful books. Emily Henry is also a really popular writer. I saw this on book talk a while ago, but I never like actually read what it was about. I just saw it and I was like, okay, it must be good then because I am really easily influenced. And also, Love Hypothesis is supposed to be very good, but I have not read that yet because the cover is like too much and I like to bring my books around to like cafes or like family events or like school and I'm not taking that out at school. I also have a Kindle that I've had for quite a long time, but I never really used for reading. I kind of had it when I was like really young just to like watch YouTube and stuff on. Like so that my parents wouldn't have to mind me and then i gave it to my sister but i use it for reading now and i'm currently reading the second um shatter me book i think it's called unravel me 
yeah it's called unravel me and it's so good so far so would recommend that lastly i finished this book called red queen it is so fucking good i the plot twist at the end was so good like i've never been like so bedazzled before that's like the only word i can think of the characters are gorgeous in my head obviously but like personality wise gorgeous um, there's three others in the series that i have not read yet but i'm gonna finish all the books i have and then i'm either gonna download it on my kindle or that i found a website that does it for free as well so or i'm just going to buy it in person because i like reading in school you know I got a good bit of other things that I don't really want to show because there's kind of a lot like I got tarot cards and I got a bunch of candles I really like them they're really pretty this one smells so good and I got this one which is white lily and soft patchouli it doesn't really smell like much but it's still like a good smell anyways I know I haven't posted in a very long time so I hope everyone has enjoyed their summer. Mine is like coming to a close. I have like three weeks left of school or two. I'm not 100% sure and that really stresses me out. I also have very strict parents so I'm not really allowed to go out that much. I might do a video on that as well but like I sometimes I overshare and then I go back and like regret it so probably not gonna happen which is obviously the strict parents is why I kind of like read a lot and watch a bunch of stuff and play Animal Crossing for 700 hours, but yeah. Thank you for watching.